freaking archbishop. Right. Bishop. <coughs> um, so, uh, the amount of time that I was sitting inside waiting for the guy to show up, I was reading. How much time was that? Oh, you're going to start the process? Yeah, I just, I just, just sat down and started reading that book. Uh, are you going to be reading it on the way there, too? I, I guess, if I could have, yeah. <coughs> I don't think I'd be reading and walking, but... Right, right. But when we stopped... Until the hospital was shooting all the time. Uh, okay, you're... All the students do you do the trans thing, or do you have to sleep? sleep? Oh, God, uh, tiefling. Fine. Sleep. Tiefling. That's right, you're tiefling. Uh, okay. So... Be good at night. Yeah. You would need some un uninterrupted time, really, to do that, or or like Scanlan did. I know. Suffer some exhaustion. So I'm asking if I can start. How much time did I get in? Yes, there? you got an hour. One hour. You need forty-eight. I know. Six I, days. I'm gonna keep track and see how much <coughs> I need in six days. Fair enough. Now, back to business. Mm. Unless you wanted to take care of this, I imagine you brought these back for a reason. What? Uh, the Archdeacon. Uh, the camera's back on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back. No. Okay. Oh. Uh, I'm back. Yeah. You did start the recording, right? The yeah. Re the I'm sorry. What, what was check that for me, please. Yeah, I started the recording. I'll oh, undo it. See, I didn't realize that. Okay, but anyway. Uh, just to make sure. It is recording. Very good. Yeah, we recorded the last part, like two minutes or something. Uh, so the Archdeacon is still here. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So There's more business that you have with him. Yes. Uh, there's also business you have with the potion seller, guys. Yes. Uh, we'll handle that in just a second. Real quick. Let's handle the potion seller first. I know, but I have a book. I want to get translated. Oh, yeah. I'll try it. Forget about that. But the problem, I want a translated copy of this book of firearms that I found while in the catacombs. Just like that. Sorry. Apparently somebody got a hold of me. Um, no, wait. Chiron. There's... This the guy we should show these to? Yes. Oh crap! Well, heck. Actually, no. No. I'm no? asking permission for something. Oh my bad. What's man. going on? Because these are technically their books. Yeah, I'll say I I should probably be the one to translate for you. But oh, man, I've got like, like three of them in my pack. Right. As I would like to have a translated they copy already, of this book. At the library, they already confiscated the mech book. I didn't have the mech book. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. No. I gave them Come the on. I gave them the gardening book, right? Okay. But I was wanting to because I, I had asked them to yeah ask the ask somebody if it was okay if they translated it and I, and to me give me a copy of the translation right, which is what I'm I'm gonna go ahead and do that go straight to the horse's mouth and do that. That's fair. I have this book of firearms. He kind of yeah. You can take a look at it. Takes it from you and uh, takes a look at it. His eyes go a little bit wide. You know, it's from a tinkerer. Um, Neat. Yeah, in the ancient text, ancient Gnomish language. Um, you found this, I'm guessing, the same place you found the potion? No. I found it, we found it in the catacombs, but we found it in a completely different area. It's the same place. Same place. Oh, okay. Same room. Right, right, right. Generally, same right. Yeah, but it wasn't near his room. Not the same room. But the yeah, same in the same area, yes. yes okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, also found a book of gardening, but I already gave it to your um, librarian. Any other books? I have one. He has one. He I has have three. Three. Yes. Did you have written down? Yeah. Uh, I picked up three of them, rolled a percentage, and got ninety-four percent. It was, oh, it was an inch like three. Total. Yeah. Okay. All right. Three gnome books is what I have written down. Your. Uh, May we see all these books? I'm okay with you looking at mine. I can't say anything for my companions. I hand them the book. Okay. I'll lay mine out on the table. I won't hand them. But right, right. He has a lot of appendages. He can well, yeah, I know, he can but I'm, I'm keeping um, my hands near them. They're still my things as, as far as rain is concerned. <laughs> Soren. Soren, right? Soren? Yeah. This book, and I'm glad you brought it Me to too. my attention. Um, this is information on our constructs, <laughs> our magic enhancing constructs. 
And this is forbidden knowledge. It's a good thing I can't read note, Michelle. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Unfortunately, you can't have this book. I don't want it. But I do want to ask for something in return for it. Okay. That can be arranged. That only your people can get. Such as? I want a small mech as a companion to come with me. Like a, a con, like a little, like a small construct to come with me. Like you use your large max. I want a little. That you can get in. No. Just like a little, like like Robo no, from Proto Trigger. Yeah, like a little Robo buddy, help mount things. Hmm. If it's possible, I'd like him to be able to adapt to a few different situations. Then. Just travel with. Possibly be arranged. Okay. I let me think on that. I'm certain we can come to some kind of agreement. Okay. What's yours? Your books, the three books there. Yeah. It was ninety-four for the lot. Um, there's more information on. One of them is on is uh, kind of concerning gnomish like seed weaponry. One of them is. One of them that you find is kind of like a it's it's a darker leather than you found on on on, on the other ones, and he will not tell you what's in that book, <laughs> and instead. Uh, tucked it into his robe. Wait, he... he stands like up. I said, I literally... I And I, I did specify this. Like, Rand has his hands near these. He lays them out on yeah, the table. And, and the, arch, the Archdeacon goes to pick it up. I, I, I grab the other end of it. Like, I found this. Uh, what are you doing? Rand, let it go. I will. This book, Rand, let it go is more forbidden than the one of our constructs. I'm more than willing release, if you want this to be private. Release the book. Or Rand, let it go. Or I will call Gaius and Gaius will get the book from you. I don't know who the fuck Gaius is. Rand, that's our mech troops. Rand, let it go. I really don't have any way to actually... Well, we're working with the wrong person here, but whatever. Can I snatch the book from him? From Rand? <laughs> you lose a bunch of them. Yeah, I know. Um, so, you're so... It's okay. So what you're saying, I let go. But what you're saying is that book right there is priceless, right? Yes. So, I just brought you back something good. And you just took it from me. Yes. I think I deserve a little... At least some recommendations around town. I'm... Maybe a favor or two. In the future. We can at least say that's worth it. Give me a persuasion check. Like, I let go. Like, I gave it to him. Oh, you were going to let it go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, or, no, I know I was. Or you were going to yeah, die. Yeah. You are going to die bad. Six plus... I rolled a seven. Seven. <laughs> hmm. Oh. I will consider it. Okay. Rand is not happy. He doesn't... Again, Rand does not have the... One of... Just kind of... As a side note, one of the uh, six like appendages is like low off of the side, like scratching Mark. And Mark's like super excited about it. Uh, he's like chatty. I whistle at Bark as soon as that exact thing goes down. I whistle at Bark for him to come back to my side, 
and just because now I don't like this guy. Well, you're the one Bark, who shared him. Bark is going to uh, stay. He's self-aware now. I know. I know. <laughs> I have to get used to that. He's sentient. No. Anyway, like there's... It feels good. Yeah. We're, Belly we're rub. Gonna, we're going to have some words later, Bark. Anyway, what about this number three? Perhaps I can get something for your dog. Yeah, he could use he could use some things. I don't know what. But Excellent. Out. Excellent. Uh, the final book is another book on uh, <coughs> like potion making and such. Nice. And um, whenever it it is like flips open and and they're kind of because the archdeacon's reading it. And the potion seller guy's reading it. Uh, potion seller like spins the book around, like looking to their yeah. skin to make sure that's okay. He's like, "I'll give you fifteen thousand gold for this book, right?" Make it twenty. It's a deal. No sale. You tell me why you want it, then we'll talk. This is notes on potion making by the tinkerer. The best potion maker. As just said by the Archdeacon. As just said by the Archdeacon. What, what did you just say? 15,000? 15,000. Yeah. 15,000 and a 20% discount from now on if this is that important to you. For me and my friends. <sighs> Persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> Five. <laughs> uh, well, hang on. Let me let me see. Luck, luck point, luck point. All right. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. Natty 20. <laughs> the first nat twenty. Uh, it's on a goddamn. Yeah, a couple from, points. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. They were all skill. They were all uh, checks. That's oh. fine with me. Okay. Here you oh, go. Like and I just hand that one over. And so he, I still own... He pulls out a bag of... Uh, platinum? 150 platinum. Okay. Yes. It's 15,000 gold. I don't feel that bad now anymore. I mean, I didn't feel very bad, but I don't feel as bad. Then there's slap whoever's closest. I'm assuming and it's Soren on the shoulder. Don't say I never did anything for you guys. And then the potion seller... Touch me again, and you won't have an arm. <laughs> the potion seller is going to... Uh, leave. Not like out the front door. Like into his basement or something. He's going to like go yeah. his back. cellar. Yeah. And I still, have, they, still didn't take, they didn't take this. They didn't take that one book though. The. All right, then I guess I'll just dump these beholderized out in the. He doesn't care. He got Give me a, a damn sweet beholder. ass book. Give me that damn money. <sighs> Actually, I wouldn't say that. I'm not that kind of person. Yeah. In game. <laughs> We'll see how that plays out here. Well, we uh, saw this nice box that's holding it. Here in a bit, yeah, yeah. Uh, it is a nice box. <laughs> All right. The Archdeacon, so <clears throat> for for this, actually, he'll he'll come back out eventually. It's just, yeah, he's a little like, excited. Like it's can just Christmas yeah. morning. Right. Yeah. So now it's just you and the Archdeacon in there. Okay. And this book of firearms that we haven't can Yes. Came across anything. Yes. So, um, this one, I'm okay with you keeping for yourself. A couple of things that kind of go along with this, and actually has a little bit to do with the uh, pearl, mm -hmm. the pieces. What we're going to do is we're going to make you honorary members of Gaius, which is the Ganrock Antiqu Antiquities Investigation, Acquisition, and Safeguard. <coughs> um, now there's a code with it. Mm -hmm. um, it'll take a few days, probably with everything else that we have to make and to have it translated and stuff, it'll probably take about a week 
which will give you plenty of time to read say, the book. Can we just stay here for the week? Uh, we'll have to if you want to get the mech, the little <coughs> mech guy and all of that. Um, I have to prepare the ceremony and everything, and of course get the pieces of the uh, <coughs> girl from the tower. Meet in the town square in the third section, which is as far as you guys can go, mm -hmm. uh, in seven days, and we'll have uh, we'll have all the stuff prepared for you. And of course, Deal. then he leaves. Uh, if you're going to wait around for the potion seller, it's probably another hour before he comes out. I can wait. Um, and he's like giddy, fucking super, super excited. Is he, is he, he has all these ideas, he's got a little journal, he's kind of scribbling in. <sighs> Sorry about that, got a little sidetracked. Okay. Now our deal. Mm -hmm. 30,000 gold for the Beholder Eye. Yes. Oh, so you all wait. For that thing we got, we got 30,000? No. Yes, we got 30,000. You weren't here for this deal. Stop disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. So, That's all random. Hey, news. I told you I'd give you 1,000 gold for the did. You did. You just made more than they're going to I, I, I know. But that's <laughs> depends on uh, how does everything. That's fair. That's fair, I guess. All right. Uh, so you have the eye. Mm -hmm. I have multiple other eyes as well inside this chest. Can you set it up and open it up and show them? Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. spectators. Mm -hmm. Also, pull out the stock that I cut away and leave it in his floor. <laughs> I leave it in his floor. It's a pretty big stock. Why? Thank you. I work out. Uh, <laughs> It like fills one of the side aisles. You have to kind of like empty it out as you're walking around to empty it out. Um, I don't really need the stalk per se. Just the you have it now. It would be fine. Um, the central eye is uh, would it's kind of the best thing for my experiment, but these other eyes would be quite useful in making. Items and the like. Okay. So thirty thousand for the central, which we've already established. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd be willing to give an additional one thousand for each of the stall guys. and two thousand for each of the big spectators. 2,000 for them? Say 1,200? Or 12,000? 12, 12,000 for the big guys. Uh, each of the spectators had four... 52,000? ...stalks. And then... So that would have been... Yes. Be four. And then the um, big, the older guy had... 10. 34 total there. So 34,000 there. Which would be 12. Oh, 34 is 40. 34... 34... Thousand you said 30,000 to start with. 1,000 mm -hmm. for each of the stall guys. Yeah, so That's 10,000 more. And then 12,000 for the small guys, right? Yeah. 52,000. Mm -hmm. 52,000. Uh, so you didn't collect the spectator little? Yes, eyes, we did. The stall guys? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be an extra 24,000 there. Mm -hmm. So we had 76. 76,000 76, split up four ways. I don't do math in my head. That's 19,000 each. 19,000? Yeah. That's close. Uh, he, of course, has a bit of platinum. I'm fine. So that's... 190 platinum each? Yep. Okay. So, I will give one platinum to Rand. So that's a thousand, right? Mm -hmm. How's it going? Uh, one, one platinum, you would have to give... 
platinum. And what platinum is a hundred. Yeah. That's right. I mean, yeah. So, so we have here's ten platinum. We were all huh? just given a hundred. Okay. Why not? Because I also got this giant purse of platinum from the yeah, potion seller. Anyway. Yeah. Added in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a man of my word. Now you have proven yourselves uh, worthy of buying potions, if you would like. Just going forward. Add a 20% discount. If you'll excuse me, and he kind of like <coughs> makes the box go small. Is there an enchanter in town? Or an enchantress? Um, yes. I'm sure there is. Do you know where? Uh, the, the town square in the third district has a few good ones. Thanks. Part of me wants to learn a new trick. <laughs> so a town, a new and a town, trick? yeah, and a town full of um, gnomes. What can a rogue learn in a week? Go oh. up. <laughs> what are you trying? I don't know. I'm just wanting to learn a new trick. Something that might a, be a little a out of class, but something at least a week's worth of education and maybe a little further yeah, later on can help me with. Yeah, mm. See, this is like literally just an idea that popped in my head so once we got back into town. <laughs> okay. So I have, I have not had any forethought on this. Got it, got it. That I have is an interesting a bunch of stuff idea. I can sell I don't it. know. I'm probably going to get sold. Let me think on that. Go for it. I need no names. So you're going to see an enchanter. Yes. Or an enchantress. Or an enchantress. If you distinguish it, it makes you a sexist. Actually, yes. that might be one, the kind of person I'd want to one get One who too. enchants. <clears throat> an enchanter. All right. So you go to the dish. You go to the uh, third third district. Mm-hmm. And in the sort of market square, there are uh, many different shops. Most of the shops are run by gnomes, of course. These are no, no different. The one that kind of catches your eye is enchanting buildings are really easy to spot because they're glowy. They're pretty glowy. Okay. Um, they have large vats of refined technos on the roof that they use to enchant and um, the one that has the biggest vat is called uh, illustrious enchanting and the illustrious is misspelled on purpose with an e so there's two e's okay <coughs> is that where you want to go sure why not oh already Inside, sitting at uh, her desk, because it is a lady, is a gnome whose name is... Tim. Tim the Enchanter. <laughs> Lily. Okay. Actually, I'm going to note this here. Welcome to the illustrious enchanting. Hi. rare to see such an odd group of adventurers. Oh, did you guys come with me? Sure. Yeah, I did, so just because... I, I, I assumed that everyone went. I was about to say, I, I went because Nobody I had said anything differently. But you weren't going to wander off? No, I know you'll I'm come back. back. You'll come back. The potion seller didn't money answer my retire. questions of where I needed to look for <laughs> the business. Uh, to go. Okay. Also, down. here in Ganrock, where you are in sort of the merchant square, there are some inns. If you're wanting to get some housing, it's probably where I'll stay. But I was gonna go shop a little bit first. But okay, no, probably fine. the enchanter. I'm but thinking. I don't know. If I definitely shouldn't have stayed at the potion seller, but I'm thinking <laughs> the enchanter is where I would want to go for magical pieces of ammunition. Yes. Okay, then that's yes, exactly <laughs> why I followed him to the enchanter. I only have two questions for her, so. 
How can I make your day better today? My name's Lily. Hi, Lily. Lily... Aldrin. Turin. Turin. T-U-R-E. Turin. That's Lily. It's common Lily. Um... I handed so the staff. Good. Would you be interested in purchasing this? I don't really need it. Perhaps the staff. The Arch Deacon said it was pretty cool. Staff of Withering, yes, yes. Um, could be fifteen hundred gold. Fifteen hundred. Deal. Four. Excellent. Excellent. So obviously you are in the market for magical items being yes. enchanted. She has a little shop in Wait the front of the like area where. Apart from where she works. True to cut line. None of it is actually <laughs> behind glass, so you can kind of see. And it's all labeled and has prizes and stuff in it, on it, whatever. The other question I had, I pull out the onyx dagger. What can you tell me about this? Hmm. Ma'am? Sure. Okay. Don't break it. She Pretty. picks it up, she puts on this uh, set of spectacles that has. Uh, Array, an, an array of different color lenses, and she kind of like national treasure, like, like like national treasure, yeah. We're out of time. Um, we'll end this one here. Tell me about it when we come back, and we'll talk about it when we come back. And later, you're gonna need to let me up. <laughs>